Hello everyone, welcome to Codus Camp. So we are at the third video of Cypress Automation Crash Course. In our previous videos, we have seen what is Cypress and how to install and set up Cypress in your PC. So in today's video, we are going to explore the Cypress GUI we have installed in our previous video and we are going to write our first test in Cypress and we are going to further see what are the debugging options present in Cypress. So let's get started. In our installation video, we have created a folder to have a workspace for Cypress and from here we have opened our Cypress. So now I'm going to open my Cypress from the same path. For that, I'm going to give the command npx Cypress open. So once you have installed your Cypress, you will see package lock and node modules folder have automatically be created. So inside node modules, you can see all the node modules that are needed for your project has been defaultly installed. So yes, our Cypress has opened and now you can see default integration test folder has already been there and one more folder examples inside integration test and that example is having a lot of already existing JavaScript files. So if you see there is another folder in Cypress automation where we have created this folder and installed Cypress in it. If you open that, you will have four other folders, fixtures, plugin support and integration we are going to see the other three folders later in our videos but here the integration folder help us to create javascript and our test scripts and run so inside this we have one folder examples and we can find the default javascript files already there in the examples folder that is what here reflected in the cypress gui as well so now i'm going to create a new test Let me name it first test. So inside first test, I'm going to create a JavaScript file. Let me name it test.javascript. Save as a text document. Yes, you can see now a test.javascript file has been created and let me delete this text document as we don't need this. So now if you open Cypress GUI, you can see our first test folder and test.javascript has been added to the Cypress GUI as we are updating the folders, it is going to reflect in GUI. So now before running or writing any test, we are going to see what are the components in this UI. So at the top you have support or help. If you click on that you will go to the Cypress page where support Cypress page and documents. So if you click this is going to take us to the official cypress.io documents page where we can find all the documentation about coding and GUI of Cypress. This will be very helpful if we are trying to learn Cypress and the next is login we are later going to see this as we are going to log in and see in dashboard about the tests we ran and all so here there is an option to select the browser you want to run your test so as per we have seen in our first video the web browser supported by cypress are going to be firefox edge electron and chrome and those are the options that are being displayed here so you can select the comfortable browser you want your test to run in so let me have it as Chrome itself. Moving on to here, you can see three options. Tests where this folder or this section is going to display all type of JavaScript files we have in our folder. And runs, we have to connect this to our uh, Cypress dashboard in order to see what are the runs we did and the reports and etc. We will see this later in the videos. And again, the settings file where you can 
have your configuration and other stuff. So now here in test, I'm just going to click on test.javascript. So if you click on this, you will be opened with a Chrome browser. So meanwhile, if you see the GUI, you can see there is a stop button. So because our test is running, it is having a stop button and it is showing running Chrome. So if you stop it, the browser will automatically close. So here in this web browser, you can see the message. The Chrome is being controlled by automated test software because this browser has been opened by a Cypress and you can see the test menu and we will see the other stuff later. So no test found because we don't have anything in our test file. The file is really empty. So I'm going to add my first code to the file. So I'm going to do a right click. open with notepad so in this i'm going to add my first code pursuit and then i'm going to add an it first test so yes so if you see the code some of you may have already familiar with this terms so these are the functions come from the bundle tools of cypress baked in so Cypress relies on one of the best open source testing libraries and it has adopted Mocha's BDD, Chai, Chai jQuery, Synan and some other few best testing frameworks. So Cypress build on these popular tools and frameworks that you may already hopefully already have some familiarity and knowledge of. If not, that's okay too. So now let's not concentrate on the code really but the UI of the Cypress. As of now, let me have a quick comparison. You can compare the describe as a test suit, where it as a test case, where this describe can have any number of its in it. So I'm going to add a simple line of assertion, which compares true is equal to true. So let me add an expect true to equal true. So simply in this line, I'm going to compare true is equal to true. It is actually going to pass because we know true is equal to true. Let us not worry about the syntax or the code. We are going to get used to it as we progress in our videos. So let me save it and open our Chrome. We don't have to rerun it or something. See, the test is passed because the expected true is equal to true. So now let me fail a test. So I'm going to add one more line where I check. False is equal to true. So here I'm checking whether false is equal to true. Obviously, this test has to fail. So I have my Chrome open back to my file. Let me save it. Immediately, the test will be reflected in the Chrome browser. So once I saved it, you can see the second test has failed with appropriate message. It says expected false to equal true. So now if you see, the terms here you can see one test case passed and one test case failed and the time it took to run these two tests and disable auto scrolling we will show once we run more number of tests so now i have showed you a simple test that is how to run a test in cypress and how our result will look like so let us write an actual test now and see the options available in cypress so i'm going to open a website so let us have a, our first command here. Let me not disturb this it. Let me write my second it. Let me name that as second test. So 
inside that I'm going to add my first command in Cypress which is cy.visit inside that I'm going to give my blogs link so let me copy this URL and inside cy.visit I'm going to give this URL and let me save it. Once I save it, you're going to see in background that my tests run automatically. So yes, here if you see my first test and second test has been reflected. Just now we have added the second test and inside that it has the comment visit the website URL we have given. So here you can see the UI has been reflected and in web driver web address bar you can see the web address we have given so now i'm going to click on this forum link and go to that page for that i'm going to first check cy.contains forum dot click we are still going to see all these comments in detail in further videos where we explore our coding part so as of now i wrote a comment for clicking on forum And you can see the test has executed and it has clicked the link and moved to the forum. So now in my forum page, I have a text box where here I'm going to enter some text. So Cypress mostly work with getting the CSS selector. So I'm going to get CSS selector of this text box. So I'm going to give inspect element. So Chrome help us to get the CSS selector very easily. So let me give copy, copy selector. So as of now, I'm going to give as such, let us explore how to further use the CSS selector in future videos. So I'm going to give CSCY dot get and in single quotes, my CSS selector I have copied. So simply CA dot get comment will get you reach to the element you give inside the braces and in that element I'm going to give the type command and let me just type welcome text so simply I used cy.get to get to my text box and I'm typing welcome so let me save it again so you can see it has typed welcome here in the text box so right now we have wrote a real test where we launched a URL clicked on a link and connected to an element and typed some text in the text box so this is kind of a test case we have wrote to test my uh, blog site so so far we have seen a simple test to click on a link and type some text in the text box now we are going to see what are the debugging options available in Cypress. So the first thing we are going to see is snapshot. So here's the test we have run. So if you hover over things in console, you can see the page has been moved automatically. You can see the visual transformation of the pages. So first when you click on this thing, you can see the home page. And as I move my pointer towards the next test line or code, it is showing the forum page. This is the first option available in debugging. So you can see visually where the test has navigated. So the next option here is the time travel. So if you click on this welcome, you can see the red dot where it is showing at which element we have dealt with. So in this red dot denotes where we have exactly pointed at and typed our text. So here bottom, if you see, there are three options first one is hide highlights if you click on that the highlight on the search text box has been removed so again if you click on that it will show or highlight with the red dot where our element is and let me remove this right now and here's the before screenshot of executing that particular comment if you click on after it is showing welcome so here it shows the transformation of before executing that particular line and after executing that particular line 
the same way here we have the click command so if you click the click command it is showing where at which element we have actually clicked so before and after screenshots it is showing and if you remove the highlight it will not highlight the element so this is this will help us to understand which element we are actually clicking and where our page is navigating quite interesting right and the third option is error messages so here our test is passed it has a green tick let me fail this purposefully so instead of capital f i'm just going to give small f and save my file so my tests are executing so yes if you see the test is failed so we can clearly see where our test is actually failed so if you see get at get the test is failed and it is showing an error box so in that error box you can see two things the first is the message error message name which is an assertion error and the detailed report of at which line or which code has been failed so if you see at exactly at the 10th line getting that uh, element has been failed because we are getting the element forum here and at that point our test is failed so we can clearly understand at which point exactly our test stopped and failed and we can correct our code so so far we have seen snapshots time travel and errors the next thing we are going to see is page events so here it actually the test shows what is the page event happening so when you see the first one it has shown us we are visiting the page and then clicking the page also it has it is showing us the timed out retrying after 4000 millisecond we did not add any sleep or wait time to check for the link but cypress automatically had added the wait if it did not find the element once it is tried for 4000 millisecond it is showing the error message that the element is not found so cypress is automatically helping us to add wait time instead of we manually add it in our code and the next thing we are going to see is this console output not that we have our, our error messages or log by cypress also we can see that in our browser console so as we are running in chrome we can have our dev tools by giving inspect and if you go to the console tab here you can see the error messages and the actions here in the console so here in this console output you can see the command you have executed that is we have uh, ran a contains command so inside that we are checking which text or which option and further it is showing the number of elements we have checked so this will additionally help us to keep track of our log files or logs when we execute the test so the last debugging option we are going to see is special commands Cypress is already displaying enough log messages for us to debug and know where our test is failing but it also supports few special commands which help us to debug our code so for example one of the special commands we are going to see is pause so i'm going to add a pause command cy.pause after my uh, visiting my website so let's see what happens so let me save it so if you see the test is passed after visiting the website so here in my code wherever i have added pass it has stopped executing the test and waiting for us to give resume to start the test so i am going to click resume now so once i gave resume it is running the test so this comment and also few other comments we are going to see further in our videos will help us to debug the code so yes we have covered all debugging options available in cypress so now to stop running this test from execution you can either click on the cross mark here to close this browser or you can directly go to cypress gui and give stop so once i click stop the chrome browser i have opened has been closed automatically so here one more option we forgot to see is run 20 integration specs which means when you click on that whatever tests are inside all the suits are going to execute in one run so i'm going to click this and see so 
when you see this, it started executing all the JavaScript files which was present inside the integration folder continuously. So here you will have options to either stop the run, uh, execution and we are going to see this option now. So as the tests are executing, if you click on disable auto scrolling, it is going to have the same page and the tests continue to execute. So we cannot see what is happening in the further tests after dot each test. So if you enable automatic scrolling, it is going to scroll down as the tests are executing. So we are going to see every test status as it is executing synchronously. So yes, let me stop this execution as of now. So here in this integration test folder, you can see the predefined JavaScript file, which actually help us to explore more on the coding section. So let me now run the action.javascript alone to check what are the actions we can perform using Cypress. So now that we have executed only actions JavaScript file, where you can see the different types of action you can perform using Cypress. So these JavaScript files will actually help us to understand and explore more on the coding section. For example, if you want to learn how to type something uh, that how to perform typing action in Cypress, you can click on that and hover over your cursor to see a lot of coding examples. For example, in this screenshot, you can see fake at email.com has been entered in the text box. So here you can see this is the command to find that uh, CSS selector and then further we are typing fake.email.com in the address. So likewise, you can explore more on the actions you can perform that is scroll to, trigger, scroll into view and etc. And this will be helpful for us to explore more on the Cypress coding. So let me click this first type in type action. So I can see the text box. It is highlighting where it has entered the text and let me remove the highlight and when we switch from after and before you can see the email id has been typed in the text box so it is easy for us to check at which step what has happened so yes in this video we have learned how to use cypress gui and how to run a test in different browsers and what is running a test look like in a chrome browser and here in this browser, we have seen what are the debugging options available, what are the error messages being shown when the test fails and passed. So overall, now we get an idea how to write a simple Cypress test and run it using Cypress GUI. So hope this video is really helpful. So look forward for more videos on more coding and automation using Cypress. Stay tuned. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.